And you know, maybe it's a good day to cozy up at the library, grab a good book, but that's so much more than a building with books. It is a place for community. And the Kent District Library making some changes to improve the experiences for their younger guests. We've got JC Cooper and Abby Black with us to tell us how. Good morning, ladies. Hi. Good morning. So tell us about the KDL and what they're doing. These are play spaces that we're talking about. So tell us what's happening. Yeah, so um, back in 2017, 2018, our early lit work group, um, they were charged with doing a little bit of research on um, how to improve our play spaces. And, you know, we have been growing over the last few years. We've added a new branch in Ada, our Amy Van Andel branch, and Kelloggsville and the Kelloggsville High School. And so we wanted to create this great cohesive um play space with child-led play and imaginative play. And so, yeah, we've been working on that over the last few years. Wonderful. So tell us, you know, what does playing and, and having these spaces at the library, what, how does that relate to literacy and, and to the mission that you're doing? Um, so at, at KDL, we value early literacy probably above most things. Um, and that means we want to give our littlest patrons the best start. And that encourages them to be lifelong learners and lifelong readers. Uh, and play is an essential part of that. So according to the American Library Association's early, uh, early literacy initiatives, like it's called Every Child Ready to Read, and the Kent County Success Basics that we do here in Kent County, um, playing is one of the primary um, ways that young children learn about the world. Uh, there's general knowledge that's super important for literacy skills and they start to think symbolically so that they can understand that spoken and written words stand for real objects and experiences and we put a really um, high value on that so they also learn to express themselves and put thoughts into word while they play wonderful and so tell us what's special about these play spaces what kind of things the kids will be able to experience um so the way that play has, uh, we've been thinking about play has changed too over the years. So we're moving in from this more structured approach to something that's really more open-ended. So they're creating their own stories. So the pieces uh, that we've purchased um, for these play spaces will encourage that type of play. So they'll be able to use different materials and textiles um, to create different experiences and become their real true makers of play. And so you might see like fabric squares in the kitchen or felt rocks next to the train table. And that might feel a little strange or out of place, but they're creating their own set of rules and getting to experience something really cool and unique. Um, also, every play space has a very customized piece for that represents the community. Uh, so that'll be a really cool thing for them to experience as well. Love that. Yeah, everything can be a toy, right? A kid that, that just spawns that creativity, absolutely. So tell us why this project is, is happening right now and what people can expect in the future at their local library. Yeah, so like I said, we had embarked on this project a while ago, but um, during the pandemic, I'm gonna bring the word pivot back. <laughs> we had to pivot um, and pause and think about um, how we wanted to move forward with the project. So we wanted to retain that child-led, imaginative play space um, mission in mind but then we wanted to incorporate something that um, really highlights the unique quality of each branch in our service area so we have 20 branches and those branches are located in rural areas um, more urban areas small branches big branches branches with a lot of history so we wanted to capture that and give kids and unique experience if they should visit one branch or a different branch. So you'll see in our Comstock Park branch, for example, we will have a fire engine, um, which is really exciting because that branch used to be a, um, a, a fire station. And um, we thought, how cool would it be to kind of um, invite people back in the libraries if they had turned to our digital materials over the pandemic um, and give them a reason to explore maybe some, some branches they hadn't gone to before. So um, all of the play spaces will be coming in over the next few months. We have four of them installed currently. Um, and we have this wonderful map that um, we created that has an image of each play space for every location, which really makes it kind of like a gamified uh, treasure hunt type of experience. Oh, I love that. Just another gem that the Kent District Library is bringing to all of us. Thank you, ladies, so much for being here. Of course, if you want to learn more about these play spaces, about all the other events and activities going on at the library, head to kdl.org. We'll be